Hello girls and boys, uh, I'm Daniel Master, I'm pipe maker from Croatia and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm just punching a hole. Maybe today I will punch a hole. Whoops! Uh, I didn't want to have that. Okay. Seems like the cigar was a little bit dry. Well, it sat in my backpack for a day or two. And I already opened and uh, smoked the, the first half. Uh, oh, it, it's nothing special, it's Don Thomas uh, from Dominican Republic, should be handmade, low cost pipe, nothing too crazy. Um, I'll use a, a pipe to smoke it, because I would love to smoke it right down to the bottom that's a neat trick i learned from a friend who showed me when um, you want to actually smoke your pipes right to the bottom end then you you know you can use a pipe an expensive one like like this missouri Mershon. perfectly okay so, yeah, one other interesting thing about uh, using this method. is that actually the chamber, air chamber that is left uh, down here is acting like a sort of a, an extension of the cigar cooling the smoke something sort of a, like a calabash chamber maybe I just figured that there is uh, one other positive thing when you are holding uh your cigar in a pipe is that your fingers that you are using to hold a cigar in your pipe you are actually not holding a cigar you are holding a pipe and your fingers will not smell that badly after you are done because one thing that i really don't like when smoking a cigar regularly, like holding a cigar in your hand, is when after you are done, your fingers smell like, you know, like crap. And um, it's not a nice smell and it's kind of hard to get rid of it. So um, when you have a, a cigar in your pipe, you don't have that smell, at least not as bad as it would be if you are smoking um, it normally. So yeah, maybe that's another positive thing. Either way, um, so I was using this to punch a hole. It's a puncher, has uh, see, and are you? When you punch it, you just remove what you removed from the cigar. Anyway, that's a nice tool I like to use when uh, cutting my cigars. But what I forgot is to lick it a little bit because, yeah, it seems it, it was a little bit dry. Anyway, enough about. Uh, cigar 
what I wanted to to talk about are several things. One of them is pipes. I just finished and no you cannot have this one. This is a special order. I need to cover the inside as you can see. I just uh, cleaned it so I can apply the uh, the blackening material. Um, see? It's a super nice billiard in my opinion. And also I have finished this one that you have seen in the previous video. She turned out quite nice. All the, the grain is kind of crazy. But overall, I think uh, it's a nice success. So, yeah, this one will be for sale. So if interested, let me know if she is still available. Anyway. The, the most important thing that I wanted to talk about today is, uh, again, Chicago Pipe Show. I'm finally pretty sure that also this year I will probably not be visiting Chicago. This is because um, after doing a lot of talking, a lot of thinking, I realized that investing about one and a half thousand dollars to get to Chicago and visit a show that might not even happen, that might be in a different uh, state, that might be in a different town, different location and everything, will be a lot of risk for me. So, there are talk, talks that um, uh, the show will be in a different state, uh, that's one of the talks I heard. Also, I heard that uh, it might even happen at the resort, but the problem is that uh, the resort is on sale and uh, they will not know much uh, for some time. And I need to buy the ticket if I will want to attend the show in May. Otherwise, the, the costs of the ticket will be uh, going higher. And that's not what I would like to have. So, uh, also one other thing, my roommate uh, that I usually share a room with, Richard, Richard Lawton, he also decided that he will not go to Chicago, at le least not this year. So, that's one other thing, and I really like to share a room with him because he has a... Uh, um, a nice habit of getting up really really early which is perfectly fine for me because I'm also here in Croatia we have a time zone that is perfectly matching uh, his uh, getting up habits which is perfectly uh, fine for me especially for the Friday when you need to be in the tent if uh, talking about Chicago show, you need to be in the tent really early to get the table. So that was really nice for me to have Richard aside, other than he is a good friend and a really nice gentleman. So um, after I heard that he decided because of the costs and uncertainties and stuff like that, that he will not attend, that was probably the last pushover that uh, pushed me to decide that uh, I have to contact Craig and uh, other guys and just you know cancel the table and just don't go to the show so I'm still waiting news from Richard and um, uh, those should be uh, his opinions about going to Vegas, because from what I heard from him, he will attend Vegas uh, pipe show, so that will be West Coast pipe show. And that will happen in October and uh, beginning of November. 
So I'm seriously thinking to, to share a room with him again, but in Vegas and to go there. It should be a little bit smaller pipe show, but thing is, um, it is from what I um, can see, it is the second biggest pipe show in US and most of my customers right now are in US. So um, yeah, that's a logical um, choice, I think. If not going to Chicago, better go to, to Vegas, you know. So I'm thinking to, to, to do that. Uh, one problem that I see here is that pipe show in China is also around this time of the year. So it may happen that the pipe show in China is a week earlier than pipe show in uh, Vegas, which will be a bit of a bummer because if I go to China, uh, I will not be able to prepare pipes for the Vegas. And if I go to China, I will not have time to rest after the show and uh, then go to the Vegas show. That will be kind of crazy, you know. So I think that if I go to Vegas and if I decide, and I have to decide like now, uh, if I go to Vegas, um, I need to... Uh, be aware that I will not be able to probably go to China. So yeah, and when I conclude everything and 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 put it that way, um, there aren't too many other options that I would like to go to. Maybe maybe there is an open. Um, question here maybe to visit the Cagli uh, pipe show in Italy from what I remember that show is uh, in uh, September or something like that um, that might be doable and I can attend it uh, using my car which is kind of nice so um, yeah that that will be an, an option I have to see about that anyway so it is pretty much sure that I will not visit Chicago this year and I'm really 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 going towards that option to visit Vegas this year I will let you know about this uh, things soon enough uh, what I have been doing recently well as usually new pipes nothing too crazy grain is not too crazy but it should turn quite nice I think we will see that and um, it's a straight one so yeah something in between I don't know half blowfish something anyway i'm doing that i have few orders that i need to finish and then i for sure need to start preparing pipes for any of those shows that i uh, just mentioned because i want to have really crazy stuff over there not necessarily in shape but uh, in grain that's what's most important to me right now Smoking a cigar like this is really nice, you know, it's quite okay, but um, in my opinion, you would have to clean the pipe after that because um, cigars have a really different taste than, than pipe tobacco, especially the one that I'm using, so they will be sucked with, with, with everything from the cigar, so maybe I should just clean it after. I see about that. But it's quite nice, you know. Not uh, hot at all. And um, 
Smokes really nice. Although it looks kind of crazy, you know, that that's, you know, whoa. <laughs> I would really appreciate uh, if you guys have any questions for me and uh, if you want uh, me to talk about something that you are interested in. It's kind of pointless for me to just talk about uh, how to stuff a pipe, how to smoke it and stuff like that because the internet is kind of full with these uh, videos so I don't want to just, you know, make the basic stuff but if you need something from me to kind of clarify as a pipe maker let me know in the comments okay and i'll do my best to just reply or even record a video about it so let me know okay There is one other thing that I wanted to talk about uh, regarding pipes. Is um, how you smoke a pipe. Uh, if uh, you are a clencher or if you hold a pipe like I'm doing uh, right now with this cigar. Because uh, if you are a guy that wants to read and uh, or do stuff like working on a computer or stuff like that you want to have your hands free probably like this you know so when uh, getting a pipe for smoking like that you want to have a pipe that has a center of gravity uh, center of uh, weight of the pipe let's say like that more closer to your mouth uh, because it will not uh, uh, make too much stress on your uh, teeth and the jaw. So you will be able to smoke it for a longer time. Or you want to have a pipe that is really, really light, like feather light, like these Missouri Merchams or similar pipes that I have and that I'm experimenting with, like this one, this little guy, you know. She is really, really light and I can work with her and uh, smoke at the same time. So, still there is a question of uh, what to do when you have expensive pipe and uh, you have to really clench it in your mouth, in your teeth. Uh, because those teeth will uh, left marks on the uh, stem in time and in time they even can make holes in the stem so if you are uh, that kind of uh, a smoker you might maybe think of uh, buying those rubber bits that are pushed over the stem those are looking like a, a rubber sort of not cones but something I will show you in the pictures um, and you want to put them over your um, button and uh, the beginning of the stem just to protect the stem if you want to protect the pipe to protect the stem from not uh, being chewed you know that will maybe even be easier for your teeth or you can also Reconsider maybe not to get uh, the stem material of your pipe if you are ordering a pipe maybe to have a, a softer stem material like uh, ebonite like for example Chris Kelly material seems to me to be a little bit uh, softer so uh, it's kind of not that aggressive on your teeth you know. Maybe, maybe that's a good option for you. And also there is also an option that you have a hanging pipe that you can actually hang. I don't have a, 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 a bent pipes, but uh, something like a full bent would be something interesting. 
if you want to clench it because usually what you will do when you clench such a pipe is that you will hold it on the bottom part of the button like here you know on this part and you will <clears throat> use your lower set of teeth to just hold it you know and she will not fall out <clears throat> so um, you don't have to clench it that hard because the weight of the pipe and also that uh, button will prevent the pipe from going out of your mouth so yeah there are options so uh one other thing is also that I like to do sometimes when I'm smoking <coughs> a bigger pipe that is a little bit heavier is that I want to bite it not just at the bot button side but a little bit further away like this hmm? because if you do that when you clench here like here, not just there, like here, then you have a little piece of stem inside your mouth that will push on the upper part of your mouth inside and actually it will be sort of like a leverage, not just here, but like, like this, you will have two points where you can actually hold your pipe and you will not need to clench it that hard. So that's a little bit about clenching for those that are newer in pipe smoking. Thought it would be kind of interesting, you know. Anyway, nice that you dropped by. Uh, nice that you have checked video up until now. It's not that long, but you know, it has several informations random talks and stuff so if you like the video you know please hit like and even maybe subscribe to the channel i will try to upload videos more often and especially if you have some questions send those in the description below so that i know actually what you want me to to record for you or just reply if you have just a short question or whatever Anyway, comments are welcome, so please do have uh, them down, you know, written below. That's about it from me today. Have fun, guys, and uh, be happy. Bye-bye.